So the news is kind of mixed. Dr. Omar Awan is with us now to do a little pulse check on COVID and what's to come. He's a physician and a healthcare contributor to Forbes. Dr. Awan, let's work through some of the COVID headlines because we're not so steeped in them these days. A lot of us are kind of going on, you know, with our lives and just figuring, you know, if, if there's a problem, someone will tell us. So can we do a little bit of a true false here maybe first? We're hearing that it matters which arm you get your booster in, true or false? I would say false chance. I think it's more important for you to get the booster, uh, no matter what arm it's in. We know that boosters, vaccinations, decrease hospitalizations, death, and serious illness, right? There have been some studies that show that, you know, if you get this vaccination or the booster in the same arm that you got it previously, it may increase your immunity. But, you know, those studies are limited until we have more definitive evidence with more studies that you know, evaluate a larger patient sample, uh, it's hard to be that definitive. So I would say just the important thing is to get the booster. Okay, got it. Looking at that video, I have to tell you, <laughs> I always wonder how does that needle not hit your bone? And I'm so glad it doesn't. And I know you guys are professionals, but watching that, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's coming again. Okay, so I got to get my booster this year. Now, another question that a lot of us have, there's this highly mutated variant going around. Is that true? And if so, should we be worried? It's true. Yeah, there's a new BA286 variant. That's what it's called. And, you know, there's a lot that we don't know, but we do know some things, right? We know that this has been reported uh, in many different countries throughout the world. We know that, you know, a handful of people have had this. We know that those who have had it, the symptoms have been mild. So that's a good thing for us, right? You know, just they presented with, you know, fever, headache, uh, sore throat, runny nose, the typical COVID symptoms. And uh, it hasn't been spreading widely yet. Now that could obviously change in a day, a week. There's so much that we don't know. We don't know how transmissible this new variant is. We don't know if it can result in serious illness. So we have to be really vigilant and very careful and monitor this you know, with time. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing the general trend be what we expected it to be at the beginning, which is that things become more transmissible but less dangerous as time goes on? It's hard to say because everything and all the different variants act very differently. You know, this new uh, highly mutant uh, variant is different genetically than any other variant that we've seen. So it becomes very hard to predict its character, you know, how serious is it going to be, how, what potential it's going to have to result in serious illness. So we really have to watch it, you know, get more data on it and see uh, with time what happens. Wait and see. How about the booster shot? Because my understanding was it's kind of like the flu shot. They have to anticipate what you're going to be dealing with and engineer it for that. Is that ready for this BA, what was it, 26? Yeah, BA 286. Yeah, it remains to be seen, Chance, honestly. It remains to be seen whether it's actually going to be effective against this new variant because the pharmaceutical manufacturers who have, you know, created this new booster, which will be available in mid-September. It's mainly to target the dominant strains, which are EG5 and FL151, right? So it's going to be very effective against those strains, but whether or not it's going to be effective against this new highly mutant variant remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Rowan, some companies, some colleges are reinstating mask and safety mandates, and there's pushback. People saying, Wear a mask if you want to wear a mask. Let your student wear a mask if they want to wear a mask. Do not try to do another blanket mandate on us. Is that reasonable to say enough with the blankets, you know, let each person decide? Well, we know chance that masks prevent the spread of infection. They prevent the transmission of the virus. So we shouldn't hesitate to wear masks. Now, obviously, sure. It depends on your personal circumstance and those that are around you. So if you're 65 years of age and older, if you're around immunocompromised patients, which means those that uh, have an underlying condition like lung disease, diabetes, organ transplant recipients, those on chemotherapy, steroids, you want to be vigilant and wear a mask not only to protect yourself, but to protect those around you that may not be able to protect themselves. So I would say... We should be very uh, open to wearing masks and, you know, it's going to prevent the spread of the transmission of the virus. Sure. But don't don't wiggle out of this, doctor. <laughs> I'm talking about a mandate. 
Are mandates appropriate and necessary, or should it be personal? I don't think mandates are necessary, and this is my opinion. I don't think mandates are necessary currently. Uh, you know, we are seeing a rise in infections, but you know, it's nothing like the peaks that we saw, you know, in previous years and previous summers and previous winters. So, you know, it is a concern right now. But I think we all need to be vigilant. We all need to do our part by, you know, getting vaccinated, staying home if we're sick, you know, washing our hands. If we're in an area where we're around immunocompromised people, absolutely, we should wear a mask. But a mandate is different, and I don't know that we're quite ready for a mandate right now. Understood. Overall, hospitalization and deaths, they're not skyrocketing. We can say that. What is your general level of concern if you're on a 1 to 10 scale right now? I'm concerned, Chance. I'm not alarmed, but I'm concerned. So I would say my scale would probably be a 5 or 6. You know, we're certainly seeing a rise in infections, a rise in hospitalizations, but again, nothing like what we saw in the peaks last year or the year before. So uh, definitely something to keep mm -hmm. an eye on, but I'm not alarmed by what's happening right now. Five or six, that ain't nothing. Dr. Omar Awan, I always love having you on because I, I can nudge a little bit to get some, you know, some good insight because a lot of us are thinking, how concerned should I be? So I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Chance.